We're finally getting details from the Penguins on the plan for an ice rink at the old Hunt Armory in Shadyside. Long running plans for a permanent facility there have been put on ice in favor of a planned seasonal rink. Jennifer Barreso was there to see the Penn's executives put the idea in front of the public. Jen, what's the reaction been like? Well, overall, people like the idea, but Ken, there were concerns about traffic, about parking, security too. The Pittsburgh Penguins are working with the community to find solutions to traffic and parking concerns when the organization turns the historic Hunt Armory in Shadyside into a temporary indoor public ice rink to bring diversity to hockey. We have a program that reach uh, players of color to bring them into the game to learn not only how to play and maybe have a ladder of opportunity to maybe get drafted one day. The team wants to use off-site parking lots like the Calvary Episcopal Church on Shady Avenue, across the street at Sacred Heart, the East Side Bong Garage, and the Shakespeare Street Giant Eagle. In the first of two meetings, residents and business owners voice concerns. I don't think you've got the parking thing all figured out. I can just see people who are not used to walking, dashing across Shady <clears> Avenue <throat> from the Calvary parking lot. You cannot breeze over that. What's your future of this plant? Do you plan to put this thing up temporarily for three months every year? Or is there another, another idea brewing here of what you want to do with the armory? Still, some showed support. We want to give our kids opportunities. And she was speaking to that's one of the reasons why there's so much when you see out on the street that you don't want to see because there's no opportunities. There's less opportunities. The team promised limits on attendance to get agreements on available parking and not to operate during school hours. They also agreed to open the rink to public skating, much like PPG Plaza and Shenley Park. We didn't try to jam anything down anybody's throat. Uh, we asked a lot of questions. We had a lot of questions, and we intend to come back to the community over the next couple months uh, and provide solutions. And Ken, the plan is to open the ice skating rink by Thanksgiving and to close it March 1st. There is another meeting. It's virtual this Wednesday at 6. Reporting live, Jennifer Barrasso, KDK News. Thanks, Jennifer.